Out of 220 runners who started the marathon, 193 completed the race, 19 gave up, and 8 were disqualified. Number 1, what percentage did not successfully complete the marathon? Well, those that gave up or were disqualified did not successfully complete the marathon. And therefore, 19 plus 8, or 27 runners, did not successfully complete the marathon. To find the percentage that did not successfully complete the marathon, let's first write the fraction and then convert the fraction to a percent. And since 27 out of 220 runners did not successfully complete the marathon, we have the fraction 27 220ths. And now we need to convert this fraction to a percentage. To convert a fraction to a percent, we first divide to convert to a decimal, and then we convert the decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100 and adding a percent sign, or move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign. So now let's go to the calculator to perform the division. We have 27 divided by 220, which gives us a decimal, and now we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign. We are told to round to the nearest a tenth of a percent because we have a seven in the hundredths place value. We round up to 12.3 percent. So now we know approximately 12.3 percent of the runners did not complete the marathon successfully. And now for number two, what percent successfully completed the marathon? Each runner either completed the marathon successfully or not successfully, and therefore the easiest way to determine the percent that completed successfully would be to take 100% and then subtract the percent that did not complete successfully, which is 12.3%. 100% minus 12.3% is equal to 87.7%. So notice how if we add these two percentages, we do get 100%. Again, that's because each runner either completed successfully or did not complete successfully. I hope you found this helpful.